has the door completely closed on the top ranked chapter with Shakur Stevenson? No, it's uh, he's uh, he's finished his contract with us. He lived up completely to the contract. We lived up to the contract. Now he's testing the market in free agency, but that doesn't mean that down the line he's not going to come back and fight uh, for top rank. I mean, it's showtime! As far as I'm concerned, there is absolutely no animosity towards him. He's a great fighter, and, and he lived up to his contract. You see, he's not a, like one of these kids that, when he hasn't fulfilled his contract, they look for ways to break the contract uh, so they can go and look at greener pastures. He didn't do that. He performed 100% under the contract and he's now in free agency and free agency means just that he's entitled to look for the best possible deal for himself bob with that said though he has said some critical things about your company so the feelings may not be mutual has there anything that he has stated that you find particularly objectionable well you know he said certain things that, that were sort of ludicrous that, that don't make any sense that we paid people to leave early and that but, but again he's you know he's emotional and uh, uh, it's it's uh, I think jarring and, and even though he won't admit it to himself the fact that he's now a free agent as far as top rank is concerned and so he's like out there looking for the best possible arrangement for himself. So you got to, you know, cut him some, uh, some, some swat because, uh, I mean, he's a nice, he's basically a nice kid and objects I'll bring up. Now you talk about we should glove up. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. But no f like fire out. Man, camera on. You ain't about to do nothing. You ain't I'm even about that life, bro. This man got you running around with cars. Bro, chill out. What were you guys going back and forth on? Uh, my grandfather was scared y'all was going to rob me, so he was telling me to try to do a little bit more. I wasn't going to rob you. I had the other fight. Judges. <laughs> we seen that uh, robbery earlier tonight, and we ain't wanted it to happen to me. It, it was a robbery. Yeah. Shockey Foster got robbed. Yeah, it was a robbery. Listen. It makes him that, that he's getting so much heat for it. Shout out to um, boxing. Um, whatever to do, boxing ego or whatever. What is it called? Something like that. Shout out to whoever I heard say this. But he was, he said that he, he's constantly calling people out like he's a smoke fighter. He's not a smoke fighter, you know? He's telling them like he's going to knock niggas out. He's sending niggas bottles. Remember all of that? Like, you can't be sending niggas bottles and fighting like this. The nigga that seen you bottles knock you out in the first round. Yeah. That was Mace giving his analysis of the Shakur Stevenson versus Artem Artunium fight that just took place. 
last weekend, last Saturday, and it's a lot of controversy around that whole fight because they were looking at Shakur Stevenson to come out to do something more than what he have done in his last fight with Edwin De La Santos. And being that it was his last fight with ESPN, they showed people leaving out of the stands they see again. Now, this is something that we're going to be talking about. Let's, let's get into it. One, two. One, two, one, two. Now you talk about we should glove up. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. But n***s not fire out you. Shut the f*** up. You got you getting boxing in the streets confused, n***. For real, n***. Like, stop getting boxing in the street. Those are two different things, n***. That is two different things, n***. Because when a switchblade or sun out and everything, you talk about n***s better strap up. Why would you give n*** that heads up? You dumb n***. Bro, what are you doing? I went to the, I went to the, hey, I went to the jail, babe. Hey, you need to stop. Hey, I went to the jail to see you, babe. I went to, I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> Y'all need to leave. Babe, I did, I, I went to the jail, man. I, I don't know what else you want me to do. Oh, God. Check out what Check out what My breakdown And what I think um, You know everybody's so You know up in the uproar About this record Stevenson And why They felt like You know he didn't Do what they wanted him to do As far as you know, get a knockout. But Shakur Stevenson is not that type of fighter. He's not going to come in and try to get you up out of there like Tank does. Um, some people say Shakur Stevenson is just one-dimensional. You know, one-trick pony. Uh, straight up and down. Uh, he don't have no special effects. He come in to fight the same way every time. You know what you're going to get out of Shakur Stevenson. Well... I mean, I can kind of see why they say, you know, he's a born fighter. Hey, they were saying that about Floyd, you know, was a born fighter. But Floyd always made, for one, adjustments. For two, he never fought every fighter the same way. He never fought every fighter the same way. And they kind of looking at Shakur Stevenson like he fight every fighter the same way. What you're going to get is what you're going to get. He's not going to knock you out. He's not going to stop you. Nice um, right there from but we know Mason the kind of fighter that Shakur Stevenson is. Like, you know, he got great skills. He got great stamina. Uh, he got good IQ. But a lot of people were saying that um, Abdullah Mason is better than Shakur Stevenson because he has the power, he has the skills, um, he has the ring IQ. And. He ain't playing no games. He's trying to get you up out of there. So they saying that Shakur Stevenson, that Abdullah Mason is the real Shakur Stevenson. Like, I think that should be the next fight for supremacy, you know, for Shakur Stevenson. If he can't get that tank fight, fight Abdullah Mason. But I know that fight will never happen. It will never take place. Even though they both in the same weight class, I know they probably spar with each other. Um, I think that'd be a great fight for Shakur Stevenson to display his skills. It'd be a high, a real high speed chess match between the both of them. Two good southpaws with, you know, um, IQ and skills, the power with Abdullah. That's if, you know, anything can land. Def defensively, they both got good defense. Shakur is, you know, great defensively sound. So that fight can go either way when it comes down to it. And a lot of people want to see Shakur fight Tank. Um, yeah, check out Jared Swift Heard and what he had to say about Shakur Stevenson facing a guy like Tank. I'm about to roll this clip. Roll the clip. Shakur, potentially Tank's toughest fight at 35. Well, 
opinion. Yes, in my opinion. And the reason why is going to be because of this. It's going to be hard trying to catch that rabbit. Or that man going to be running around the ring all night. And it's going to be a boring ass fight. But, you know what I'm saying? That's the way I see The only way I see you go winning the fight. If he tries to sit there and show that he ain't going to be running and pick it up, he better score, win the round, win the round. Get tanked, frustrated, throwing his hands up like, fight me. And then have to put off the bigger. But if he try to go in there and so as you just heard Jared Swift you know gave his opinion the breakdown on the fight with Tank versus Shakur and a lot of people feel the same way but it's just that Shakur is he's not a puncher he's uh feather fisted um Roley said that he can't punch through a wet paper bag. <laughs> Roley, you know, was, I guess, speaking the truth because we never seen Shakur Stevenson, like, knock anyone out. But we know Tank can knock you out. Um, Tank is in his Floyd Mayweather, like, bag era, I think. At first, Tank was that, you know, I'm just going to come and get you, run you over, and knock you out. No, because if you look at Tank, he had to show different skills, different techniques. Um, just look at the fight with Isaac Pitbull Cruz. He hurt his hand in that fight, right? Tank had to get on. The, he had to box. He still was, you know, still was trying to let the hand go that he hurt, right? If you look at the Ryan Garcia fight, um, Ryan Garcia came at him all aggressively. Tank had to, you know, download the data. And once he computed everything that Rain Garcia was doing, we seen what happened. Same thing with Roley. Roley kept putting his hands in the cookie jar, kept throwing the same shot over and over again. Tank, he calculated it and made Roley pay for it. And we seen what happened with that. Same thing with Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios kept doing the same thing. Tank calculated it. He computed it. And we seen what happened to Mario Barrios, Leo Santa Cruz. We seen Leo Santa Cruz throw the same shot over and over again. What Tank do? He computed it, he calculated it, and boom, got him up out of there. Hector Garcia, seeing him do the same thing. And what Tank do? Get him up out of there. Same thing with Frank Martin in his last fight. Frank Martin did the same thing. Tank let him shot his, shoot, his, shoot his shot. Shoot his load, took him in the deep waters, then what? Like a shark, bit him and drowned him. I mean, there's no comparison. It's night and day. We know that if Shakur Stevenson get touched by Tank, he's gonna get on that bicycle and move around the ring. Um, he's gonna try to outbox Tank, but it's gonna come a time in a fight where he's gonna have to sit down and fight because the mental, the mental pressure that Tank applies, I think. He gonna have to come in tip top shape to 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 move around and box all three minutes, all twelve rounds if it can last, and that's just my honest opinion. Now, um, with Vasily Lomachenko and Javante, I think that fight can go either way. But I will look at that fight like the Teofimo Lopez. I don't think Vasily Lomachenko gonna be um, reluctant to just you know walk in even though he got angles got skills he got speed he let his hands go but a southpaw versus a southpaw man the moment tank touch you the whole game plan basically go out the door and if he land on Lomachenko he going to sleep he's going to sleep so I mean will he be able to land that against Lomachenko oh no that that would be a, a, a big fight for the both of them um, but hey, we just gotta wait and see if that fight will ever manifest itself. Y'all let me know what y'all think and just break down uh, how y'all feel about, you know, Shakur Stevenson and his controversies against um, Artem and how everybody is basically saying that he's not it. And they don't wanna really see him get in there with Tank. Because his last two performances didn't live up to the to the hype. And we know Shakur Stevenson had to come out and try to fight his best. I think that was his best against Artem. Even though Artem didn't really give him that much to display. But 
I felt like that was Shakur Stevenson at his best because of his last performance. He felt like he had to come out and outdo his last performance against Edward De La Santos. Y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel. All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.